Chile has been the model of a democratic society since the transition from the military dictatorship of General Augusto Pinochet in 1990. The uh, alliance among central and left-leaning parties known as the Concertación, the Concentration, ruled up until uh, four years ago when an alliance of center and center-right parties elected their leader, Mr. Piñera. He cannot be re-elected and has had difficulty finding someone to succeed him from his alliance. At the moment, it looks as if former president, socialist Michelle Bachelet, who won her Concertación's nomination, uh, will have an easy victory in the elections at the end of this year. The street demonstrations, however, revealed that the political parties in Chile however stable, however legitimate, have failed to convince the new generation how to participate in politics through political parties and political institutions. The generation that went into the streets in Santiago in January and later in March and have uh, subsequently in smaller numbers returned to the streets was essentially a generation that had no experience of the Pinochet dictatorship, consequently gave very little value to the national savior that the Concentración image tried to take on for itself. In other words, the young have lived in democracy, and they want to know what democratic governments are going to do for them. They were specifically focused on higher education, which, while made accessible through reforms over the last 15 years, has become increasingly expensive, and the young generation on the streets wanted education to be made accessible to all. In Brazil, it's a little more complicated. Uh, what the demonstrations have uh, shown to all of us is that the ruling party, the Workers' Party, known as the PT, has completely lost touch with this new middle class. The PT thought that since it won its election and had fought for its position in political prominence, that all it had to do was govern. Not so. Social services, particularly in health and education, have declined radically in the quality and in the dispersion across national territory. In addition, the rampant corruption of the Brazilian government in the construction projects leading up to the huge public uh, works projects for the World Cup in 1914 and the Olympics, in, uh, excuse me, 2014 and the Olympics in 2016 have made the public sick and tired. So, they went out into the streets to send their message to the government. The president, Dilma Rousseff, has indicated she's listening and will try to answer them. Thus far, she hasn't offered much by way of response. We might have more people in the streets of Rio over the next few months, unless the PT and Dilma can come up with some interesting responses to their complaints.